another vlog from Thailand. I woke up in Pattaya Beach and first had breakfast at this hotel I'm staying at, which had a very large selection of breakfast. It's more like um, continental. So there was some Indian, there was some Italian, there was some American breakfasts. So good selection of breakfast after this, heading back to Bangkok. Going back from Pattaya to Bangkok, costing me 131 baht per person and this is the bus terminal so there's food stuff bought my tickets over here bought my tickets over here I came here with the taxi and I just have to wait for the bus I hope it's not the tiny little car again they charge extra for bags depending on what's the weight which i think is kind of a scam like why don't you just include it in the price like let's say if you have a suitcase then put some extra on it if you don't then don't uh, so it was actually a whole big bus and someone put tissues in the ac another day another vlog in thailand heading back to bangkok almost there so it's a two hour bus ride from pattaya to bangkok and bus stop there is a free toilet so one thing to know with these free toilets a lot of them do not have flushes so women when you wipe you gotta throw your tissue in the bucket and then there's the nozzle that you have to put over the toilet and press it it's just like watering a hose a watering hose and that watering hose will flush the toilet so uh, yeah and some of the toilets are not toilets but they're like holes that you have to me bend over you know <laughs> you'll see i made a video about how much it costed me to travel to thailand um i think it, it came out really good it's it's a good thing to know to kind of like what to expect on how much it's gonna cost to travel to thailand but coming to an end of my trip i realized i made a huge mistake i spent more days in pattaya than in bangkok which was a mistake i should have spent more days in bangkok because there's so much more to do so many more attractions so many more things to see i thought that pattaya beach will be like beachy very beautiful like what you see when you google uh, beaches in Thailand like Phuket but it is not like Phuket so Pattaya does not need more than two days so that was my um, little regret but now I know so I'm gonna drop off my suitcases at Lancaster Hotel it's so beautiful inside I'll show you the room later right now I'm on my way to the little zoo cafe and apparently they have raccoons and foxes for petting it is a shopping center and now we just have to find it. Oh, this looks so cute. It's a pet store. The Little Zoo Cafe. I found this on Instagram. You gotta touch it here to enter. So this you gotta pay per person. It's 300 90 baht per person but you get some extras with it so it was like 11 dollars per person and we got socks and also a drink mm -hmm. it's so fat <sighs> before my time slot came to to go to the little zoo i stopped by this bakery 
to get some food everything looks so good now that i'm looking at it i'm like oh i should have got some more things but i think i was like not hungry after the big breakfast but look at these things blueberry cheesecake oh that looks so good i ended up going with creme brulee cheesecake tart yes that one right there on the top it was so delicious i have to make it at home and my total came out to for three items 280 baht which is like um eight dollars here is the creme brulee cheesecake tart it looks so delicious it was so delicious this is a pecan pie i love pecan pie this was not super great i should have picked something different but i love pecan pie so like i had to try how they make it and it was kind of a disappointment here we are i'm so excited for this there's a little monkey the monkey was like the and this fox was the only one that we could not actually pet in your entry fee the entry is included they give you socks to walk around here because it's going to be a lot of fur and a lot of pee uh, that you might step in would they clean up the pee very fast but uh the socks did smell like pee after and they also give you a free beverage which you can choose uh, juice or coffee and then they also give you a toy option that you can take home so i got a little toy for my dog <laughs> look at his face he's like rescue me um, it was so chunky and he loved the attention so there was no kangaroo but there's a ton of dogs and a ton of cats a meerkat and this is the boss of the gang it is a hairless chinese dog it's a breed a chinese hairless I, there might be like a, a name for it but i cannot remember it but he was the boss of the gang he had to be everywhere where there was something happening not strong yes <laughs> i can't believe it's a fox the foxes could not be let to run around because they they were getting into fights with someone so you can only hold the foxes or just look at them through the window um but there's plenty of pets to play with and you get one hour in here which is i think pre a pretty good time and one hour you can literally pet all the pets and they were all friendly some of the cats were kind of like eh, don't touch me right now
Jiggle jiggles. <laughs> what food? Food. What does it eat? Like a uh -huh. dog food? Dog food. Dog food. Mm -hmm. Yum yum. yum, yum. <laughs> yeah, there's videos of them putting foams in water and washing it. <laughs> It's not a toy. It's not a toy. <laughs> it's not a toy. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
papay. So this is the beverage. I got some vanilla cream milkshake something and that's the toy. And then th so the location of the little zoo is kind of really outside of downtown. So I decided to walk around a little bit, explore, see how things are here. And this literally made me so sad that I spent so much time in Pattaya when I should have been here. I should have been here, explored more. I know I would have found better street food here, unlike in on the beach. Because at Pattaya, there was a lot of fried chicken, which was really annoying. Um, I know there's a lot of American here, um, but fried chicken, deep fried chicken, that was a big part of the street food in Pattaya, which I did not like. Um, so yeah, don't make the mistake I made spend more day in Bangkok because there's so much more to see so much more culture and food to eat um so I'm waiting for the bus right now because I decided to take the bus instead of a taxi big mistake it took forever Taking the bus to uh, some get some ROM and 10 baht for a bus ride. No AC? No. Hopefully, hopefully, I get there. Have taken a taxi. Yeah. This is taking over two hours on the bus. Like two, two hours, four. two hours, thirty-eight minutes. We're here, and I am kind of like hardcore fangirling because I'm so excited. I first saw. Her, um, I think on Gordon Ramsay's Asian tour, which came out maybe like six or seven years ago. Um, and I knew that if I ever come to Thailand, I have to try her stuff because I love noodles. Although I do prefer ramen. I'm a ramen girl. We'll see. Very excited. I had to uh, sign up because there's a wait time. Not sure how long it will take, but I think there's some people in front of me. I know it says no pictures and I did not take pictures, but I took a little video because it was just a memory for me. Um, I did not get yelled at, so it was all okay. Forever feeding stray cats. <laughs> um, I was sitting here. Uh, ended up not going to the noodle place because there's no seat and they ran out of, um, they ran out of seating. So they said like, no more, we're closing. So, um, very bummed. And now I'm going back to the hotel and probably cry. I'm really, really sad. I did not, I was not able to go to the noodle place. But this is Friday night, so I, I should have known. But I had no idea. It's going to be so, so extremely packed. So I decided to kind of walk back because it was very hard to get a taxi. There was no taxis going back this way so I had to just keep walking until I find something and then I ended up getting on the subway I'm pretty sure I mentioned this in one of my previous Thai videos but I felt so safe walking here at night it's it's something about Asian culture is that men in Asia they don't stare in your they, they don't look at you 
Like every time I walk past a man, he would look down. Nobody would look at me. So I was never like yelled at or cat called. Um, yeah, I, I just, I was, it was very surprising to me. It's my first time in Asia and I really love this. Um, so yeah, I felt extremely safe walking here at night. So this is my hotel and we got the Siam suite, which is the presidential suite. It is a whole penthouse. There's a private entry and an absolutely beautiful penthouse. Two bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, a whole kitchen, a dining table. Uh, there's even a, a microwave or maybe like an ovenish. I'm going to do a separate video to review this because there's so much to see in here. And they also have a pool and a jacuzzi, which um, I was late to. Uh, but yeah, it's a beautiful hotel, Lancaster. It's not expensive. It's pretty much just, well, not for this room, but for like a regular room. It's pretty much the same price as in Pattaya. Uh, but look how beautiful it is. This other room has its own little glam closet. Very cute. I I love this. And it also it's also a really good location across the street. Uh, there's 7-Eleven and some other food places and also the metro, the subway entrance. So I ended up just getting some food downstairs at the restaurant. The prices here are, of course, going to be a lot more than if you were to go on the street. But it's it's an option. Like there's burgers. I'm, I'm, I did not come here for burgers. So I'm going to choose some of something from this curry. And I ended up loving it. And compared to American prices, it is cheap. So, cocktails first, and then my food. Look at that. This is a shrimp curry noodle. It's kind of like tom yum, but not the same because the broth is way more thicker. And there's noodles here. It was extremely spicy, but so delicious. This curry has to be one of the best dishes I had in Thailand. Um, it's very spicy. On the menu it says one chili and they say it's a little bit spicy. No, it is fucking spicy. I can I can eat a whole bag of hot Cheetos in one sitting so I can handle spicy. This is a lot more spicy. It's like putting Tabasco on hot Cheetos. Extra, extra spicy, but full of flavors, very creamy. It's coconut curry. Um toward the price. It's not too much, it's like eight dollars. A little more expensive than if you were to go outside. So I'm about to take a shower and I look down into the trash can and I see a plastic grocery bag and then in it something like this. So instantly I'm thinking I'm in the presidential suite so maybe the person before me who stayed here is like in the mafia or something and they chopped off someone's hand. <laughs> I threw it in the trash and room service forgot to clean it. So I'm just standing there like I see it, Tom. And of course, I'm white. I have to look. It's a donut. It's not a hand. <laughs> I know this was a long vlog, but we have come to the end. And after this, I have one more vlog from Thailand. And then, unfortunately, it's back home. Thank you so much for watching and good night.